I'm going to ask you some more personal questions, but I don't know if you're comfortable being on film. If you're not, we'll, we'll no, delete this, no, I promise. Are you sure, let's say, God forbid, Skylar, that you were to pass away, are you 100% sure that you'd go to heaven? I'm not, I'm not, Matt. I would not, I'm, I'm sure of where I would go. Okay. Well, Skylar, the reason I ask is because the Bible does tell us we can know for sure. The Bible says, these things have I written to you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life. And normally we don't film these, but we'll just keep filming, no yeah, big no, deal, as long as you don't mind. The Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Now, you know what sin is, right? Yeah. It's when we do wrong things. Have you ever told a lie before? Yeah, I have, Matt. Yeah, absolutely. And the Bible says right here in Romans 6, 23, it's for the wages of sin is death. So the whole reason we die, according to the Bible, is because we've sinned. Mm -hmm. That's why we die physically. Now, the Bible talks about a second death in Revelation 21, verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake, which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So all liars, according to that verse, go where? To hell. To hell. Now, according to us, we may not think that's rational, mm -hmm. but God is literally so holy. Yeah. God is so righteous, he is so perfect, that he would have to send us there because that is a just punishment. That's how serious sin is. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? That makes sense to me. So basically, do you think God wants anybody to go to hell though? No. No, the Bible says that God loved us. Jesus Christ was sent from God. Jesus was sinless. He was the son of God. He lived a perfect life. The Bible says he was tempted at all points like as we are. So he was yeah. tempted to lust. He was tempted to steal, but he never did. Mm -hmm. The Bible says when he was on the cross that he himself bare our sins in his own body on the tree. Yeah. So every sin I ever done, every lie I've ever told, Jesus had paid for it. He paid for every sin you'll ever do. Yeah. Jesus, obviously, when he resurrected from the dead, it shook up all of history. Mm -hmm. That's why they reset the calendars. But for sake of time, we'll wrap up with this. This is the part that most people disagree with me on, yeah. all right? But this is what I believe the Bible teaches. John 5, verse 24, Jesus said this. He says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath what? Everlasting, everlasting life. Everlasting life. Skylar, if I said I want to give you my iPhone, mm -hmm. it's an everlasting iPhone. It'll never die. But then it dies. What does that make me? I lied. I lied. If Jesus says, that you, if you trust him and you receive eternal life, mm -hmm. you're going to heaven, but then he takes it back. He'd be a liar, right? Yeah. So here's the thing. Jesus has a gift of eternal life. He paid for it on the cross. And he says, once you receive it, you shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. So when you get saved, when you simply receive the gift of salvation, mm -hmm. you can know for sure you're going to heaven at that point because Jesus paid it all on the cross. Yeah. So you can never lose your salvation. Other false denominations will tell you that if you're not good enough, if you, don't, if you, you could pray and trust Christ, but then you gotta continue being good. Yeah. No, that's not gonna get you to heaven. The only way to go to heaven is by trusting Jesus alone, putting all of your faith and trust in what he did on the cross. The Bible says in John 10, 28, Jesus said, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall what? Never perish. Never perish. So once you're saved, Jesus says you will never perish. But you have to receive it as a free gift. And the Bible says, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Notice it says shall be saved, not might be saved. Yeah. Shall be saved. Yeah, it's a, it's a promise. The Bible says this is a promise which you have promised even eternal life. So to go to heaven, all you have to do is realize that you're a sinner, mm -hmm. which you agree with. Yep. Realize that you would be condemned to eternal punishment, which is what hell is. Yep. But realizing that Jesus loved us, took our place on an old rugged cross and died for us. And if you trust him to take you to heaven, he promises to take you there. And all it is is just receiving that gift. Mm -hmm. It's not about turning over a new leaf. That's not gonna get you to heaven. The only way to go is by simply receiving it. And I'll ask you two questions and we'll close, we'll be done. So let's say, Skylar, I get the gift of yep. eternal life. I'm saved, I'm in God's family, but I wasn't thinking. Mm -hmm. So I get in a car and I crash into somebody and I kill them and I died in the process. Now, let's say I was drunk. 
Uh, drunkenness and, and murder is pretty bad. Yeah. But if I'm saved, where would I go? You go to heaven. That's right. Not because I'm good, but because I'm forgiven. Yeah. Now, let's say the same thing happens. Let's say that I get drunk, wasn't thinking, I crash into somebody, kill them, and then I feel bad about it. So yeah. I take my own life. Yeah. Now, we know suicide is one of the worst sins in the Bible. Yeah. Where would I go if I'm saved? You saved in suicide? Would God forgive your suicide? Or would you go to hell? Saul in the Bible committed suicide, but he's in heaven. Samson in the Bible committed suicide, but he's in heaven. Why? Not because they were good, not because they did good works. They were saved. They, they were saved forever. Jesus. They trusted in Christ. That's the only way to go to heaven. And once you receive it, you'll always have it. He'll never leave you or forsake you, the Bible says. So you could do wrong things. You'll get punished on this earth, but Jesus will always love you if you trust him to take you to heaven. So this is kind of where your choice comes in. Skylar, you could either say, Matt, I agree with what you're saying. And I would like to simply just receive that gift from the Lord. Or you could say, no, not today. Jesus said today is the day of salvation. So I would encourage you, if you want to know for sure that you're going to heaven, to just simply trust Jesus to save you. And if I gave you the words to say to Jesus, would you like to pray and trust Jesus alone for salvation? Yeah, that's correct. Would you like to? All right. So just put your hand on my Bible. Just say, dear Jesus, dear Jesus I know that I'm a sinner. I know that I'm a sinner. I know I deserve hell. <laughs> But I, believe but I believe that you died on the cross, that you died on the cross and, was buried and was buried and rose again. And, rose again. and now I'm trusting you 100% to take me to heaven when I die. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. Amen. amen. Now, amen. If I never see you again, Skyler, mm -hmm. where am I for sure going to see you? See you in heaven. Amen. Not because we are great but because Jesus forgave us of all of our sins. And the blood of Christ is so powerful. He was so perfect that he paid for every single sin, past, present, and future. Once you're saved, you're always saved. Do you have any thoughts you want to share with anybody on YouTube? Love Jesus, go to heaven. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, the Bible says.